So, Ian, what do you do when rain doesn't fall? Well, you don't want to run out of water, Neil, because uh, that's what will happen if, unless you do something. And uh, what we are stressing is, is that people need to consider sources of water that don't depend on rainfall. In Adelaide, in the middle of the millennium drought, nearly ran out of drinking water. Um, the main pipeline takes water from the River Murray, near Murray Bridge, and it was going saline. And I think they were about three weeks away to delivering bottled water to people. That's symptomatic of what was happening in other parts of the country. Brisbane's dams were down to 17% and so on. But what did we do? The, well, the industry got together and uh, six of our cities now have seawater desal plants. We have a, a large indirect potable reuse scheme uh, built in Queensland and Brisbane. So we are on the climate resilient water source bandwagon at the present time. Mm, some people say this is expensive. I think the, the bill was around about $15 billion to build this stuff. But that it is was correct. Terrific uh, expenditure on infrastructure to provide insurance against running out of water. But if you run out of water, that's expensive too. It affects on people's lifestyles, their gardens, their well-being. You know, it's, it's, we take water for granted, Neil. And uh, when it runs out, that's when we realise how cheap it's yeah, been. Mm, exactly. Yeah. And uh, we've got to protect that. We're both speaking at a, a little workshop with young water professionals in February. Looking forward to it, Ian. Oh, certainly. I really applaud Icewarm for, for putting this thing on. It's, it is, uh, it's, it's topical. It's getting to the young water professionals. This is a workshop on the 17th of February at the University of New South Wales, put on by Icewarm. Five speakers. Uh, Neil, as you've heard, and I will be there. We have Greg Leslie from the University of New South Wales who's talking on weather and its impacts. We have Rhett Butler from the charity Sky Juice. He's just brilliant in, in his field. And uh, Gavin Ovens from the seawater desalination plant in, in Sydney. So come along, learn about climate resilient water sources and what it means for our future.